To this day, every year, on the 24th of April, their descendants proceed to the Akama Shrine, which contains the mausoleum of the drowned seven-year-old emperor, Antoku. There, they conduct a ceremony of remembrance for the life and death of the Heiki warriors. But there's a strange postscript to this story. The fishermen say that the Heiki samurai wander the bottom of the inland sea still, in the form of crabs. There are crabs to be found here which have curious markings on their backs, patterns which resemble a human face with the aggressive scowl of a samurai warrior from medieval Japan. These heiki crabs, when caught, are not eaten. They're thrown back into the sea in commemoration of the doleful events of the Battle of Dano Ura. This legend raises a lovely problem. How does it come about? that the face of a warrior is cut on the carapace of a Japanese crab. How could it be? The answer seems to be that humans made this face. But how? Like many other features, the patterns on the back or carapace of this crab are inherited. But among crabs, as among humans, there are many different hereditary lines. Now, suppose purely by chance, among the distant ancestors of this crab, there came to be one which looked just a little bit like a human face. Long before the battle, fishermen may have been reluctant to eat a crab with a human face. In throwing it back into the sea, they were setting into motion a process of selection. If you're a crab and your carapace is just ordinary, the humans are going to eat you. But if it looks a little bit like a face, they'll throw you back, and you'll be able to have lots of nice little baby crabs that all look just like you. As many generations passed of crabs and fisher folk alike, the crabs with patterns that look most like a samurai face preferentially survived. Until eventually, there was produced not just a human face, not just a Japanese face, but the face of a samurai warrior. All this has nothing to do with what the crabs might want. The selection is imposed from the outside. The more you look like a samurai, the better your chances of survival. Eventually, there are a lot of crabs that look like samurai warriors.